guys, it's Laura. Welcome back to Shop with Laura. And in today's video, we are gonna do a special design that I've waited to do because it was out of stock for quite a while. It just restocked with our Celebrations catalog launch a couple weeks ago, and it is our etched butterflies. I am so excited to do this, and I'm gonna try a technique that I've honestly never done before, but I've seen. So we'll see how it turns out. It could be a total flop, and we might change directions midway, but I'm hoping it turns out fine. Um, I'm going to be using watercolor paper to make the butterflies, and we'll see how that works. But we're gonna do the whole design on our nine by nine box frame, and I'm going to start off with the words. So here's the transfer for you. It's got four different butterflies and then some words, um, some like um, cursive words, and it's got like what looks to be a postage stamp looking thing, uh, which would be cute for an accessory type of piece. We're gonna do the wording here. I'm trying to decide if I want the wood grain. I think I want the wood grain to go across with the words going across. So we're gonna do it this way because there's actually a grain to this. But first we're going to wax because you guys know if it is not a chalkboard from Chalk Couture, you should wax it. So we've got our surface wax and the little wax applicator and just rub a little bit of the wax on here. And it helps to not only protect your transfer from picking up any of the wood grains, but it also gives your surface a nice smooth surface to be able to have your paste adhere nicely. So it's, it's definitely highly recommended if you are doing anything in wood, but basically anything that's not a chalkboard from Chalk Couture. So we're gonna put the wax here and I am doing the darker side of the board. These are our double-sided boards and they, they have white on the other side, but I'm gonna do the actual wording in white. So we're gonna do it on the dark side of the board. So here's that and here's the other side just so that you see it. But we're gonna do the words in white. And you'll find all the links to everything up in the description here for this project. But we've got our bright white, and I'm going to go ahead and fuzz this word part of the transfer with our fuzzing cloth. So you wanna add a little bit of lint to your transfer, especially something like this, because the more turquoise, the stickier it is. So when you have something that's got a lot of turquoise on it, it is a good idea to fuzz well, at least a couple times. All right, so we're gonna plop this down and I'm gonna kind of just, it, it's actually perfect size for this board and I'm just gonna kind of uh, off center it to the left side because I am ideally gonna put our, one of our butterflies here. And maybe I should put it in the center because I was gonna do two butterflies, but maybe I'll just do the two butterflies on the, on the side. So I'm gonna put the butterflies over here, that's why I'm kind of off centering it. But just smooth it down and we'll grab our mini squeegee and some bright white paste and just chalk down and just remove the excess on your transfer. You wanna always remove the excess paste as you're going at the end so that you don't have these globs or anything going through the transfer. So this white paste is actually a little thick, thicker than I like. It's been standing for a little while and I probably should have stirred it, but we'll just hope for the best. Should be fine. Just probably needed a little stir though in reality, but it's okay. That's why it's kind of taking a little bit of extra time here to wipe off. Okay, so let's just grab our transfer, peel back. Oh, it's so pretty. Now it is distressed a bit, so it kind of looks old and it's meant to look old like that. So, you know, some of the transfer is like the postage stamp looks worn and stuff. So that's totally normal uh, when you're doing this design. Some of our designs are built like that. So that, just so you know, oh, that's not cool. Try not to get it on my other butterflies. Actually, you usually have a bucket here. Where did my bucket go? Oh, here it is. Ah, bucket in the bottom cabinet. I put it back. 
back there for taking pictures and then I forgot to take it back out. Well, it's a good thing it was right there, right? So it's a brand new month. Here's our words. It's a brand new month, which means a new club couture design and I will be doing that mid-month or so. Um, I have a move to take care of in the meantime, so I'm gonna do the move first and get settled and then do that video with you, but you'll see that mid-month. So stay tuned, it's a super cute design though. It's got lemons and lemonade. It's really cute and I think you'll love it, um, but you'll have to just wait a moment for it. If you are not familiar with our Club Couture, it's the best program we have where you can get an exclusive transfer design every month that changes and you get uh, three chalk paste singles and you get flat rate shipping, you get various discounts and sales for the year, you get a welcome gift for me, a quarterly gift for me, so much goodness. Um, and I don't have them here because they actually were given as a gift, but what we made in April was uh, with the keep going, keep growing design was uh, those two little jar cutouts. So my son actually confiscated those and gave them to um, a lady from his, our, our neighborhood who's been giving him some rides to soccer, just kind of said thank you. So it was nice, nice of her to do. So I'm going to try this watercolor technique here for the butterflies because I actually want to do the outline of the butterflies in black, but I want the butterflies to have a little color. So I pulled out um, Tulip, which is an older color, and Golden Hour, also another older color. And I'm going to put them in my um, trays, my paste trays. So I'm stirring them up a little bit and just put a little bit in here in the tray. Now I'm gonna add a little bit of water to each one and uh, take my stir stick and just kind of mix it up a little bit inside here so that it's more of a liquidy, more of a watercolor. So we're gonna do it on the paper um, than, than paste. So just kind of breaking up the taste clumps, making it a little bit more light and we're going to paint this on the paper so i'm going to do one half in one color and one half in the other color because i'm going to do um i think the big butterfly at the bottom here and then one of the smaller ones also for the design so just mash this up and let me get this one Guys will have to let me know where you're watching from. How's the weather out there? Has it warmed up? It's gotten a lot warmer here, which is really nice. And the days are not so chilly, which is good when driving across the country. So um, I'm just gonna grab two of my paint brushes here. Just, I, just, I just grabbed two random ones, I don't even know. Um, but we're just gonna take the, the paste and paint it across the paper. Now in this way, I wanna do enough to where I'm gonna cover the design of the butterfly. This, this one's gonna be the smaller of the two butterflies, so I'm just kinda of doing it here in the center, I think. But it's okay if it has like some texture to it actually going to go the other way and just make some lines. I want it to kind of look a little bit more nature-y, you know what I mean? I'm wondering if I should do, um, I wonder if I should do like, two, well, no, I can't really do that. I was going to say, I could, I could have done that if I, that would have been a plan from the beginning, but it's like two different colors, kind of like a, um, a cross between watercolor and hot mess technique. I'm gonna do the yellow over here on this side. Trying to make it where it's not like just all the same shade, you know? I'm trying to add some variation. That's why I'm trying, I'm just making this up as I go, truly. <laughs> just making this up as I go. So that's why I'm trying just a different circle techniques because then it's got a different texture to it than the other side with uh, 
with the straight lines. So, there's a piece of my paintbrush in there. All right, so now we're gonna dry this. Let's put this off to the side here. So now I'm gonna dry this just a little bit. So this is kind of what it looks like before we do the black. So let's go ahead and just dry this real quick. This doesn't take any time at all to dry because it is on that watercolor paper. But since I'm gonna be chalking over it, you wanna make sure that it's really dry before you go chalking again a second layer. All right, so some de depth is coming in over here, like where the heavier hand was on, um, on the design. Whoop, I don't even know what that was. Oh, and I knocked my scissors out of my card. Run away, scissors. Must have gotten caught in the cord. All right, so let me just put this away over here and close these back up. And then we're gonna chalk our black outline of the butterfly over it. So let's do, let me make sure. Yeah, that should be good. So I'm gonna take the bigger butterfly here and you do want to fuzz it really well because this is paper. So just like before, fuzz, fuzz, fuzz. Now it does already have chalk on it, which means it's not quite so super sticky as watercolor paper alone. I love chalking on watercolor paper though. It's very fun. Actually, this is on watercolor paper right here, that house design. And you can get this, I'll put the link in the description, but you can get it on Amazon. So we're just going to put our butterfly there in the middle and I'm gonna do a smaller one and I think I'm gonna do this this one I don't know I was I don't know if those two look good together or if this other small one looks good to better it's kind of got some similarities so I think maybe I'll do the other small one Totally changing my mind. Put this back on my paper. That's the beauty of this stuff, right? You can totally mix, match, do whatever you want to. I've seen some really beautiful designs with these etched butterflies. Um, really beautiful. So lots of possibility here. We're going to take this butterfly and put him or it in the middle of that one I know there's an I know there's a way to actually determine to distinguish between male and female butterflies but I don't know that it's escaping my mind at the moment what the characteristics are so I'm just going to start my black I learned my lesson with white because <laughs> through the black this time just to get it mixed up and we're going to chalk these outlines in the black so you'll be able to see the not chalked parts will still have the color underneath. So, and I've also seen this just done in black and white and it was gorgeous too. So if you don't want to go through all this with the colors, you totally can just keep it like more black and white and it's super pretty that way too. But just an idea. I wanted a little pop of color. Butterflies tend to be brighter in color because I know that is because they, they're dangerous. Some are dangerous to eat. So they're, that's actually, the bright colors are a warning for other animals. Like, don't eat me, you might die. Nature's warning system. Generally, bright colors like that in nature mean leave me alone. So let's peel this back. How pretty is that? Peel this one back. Oh, so pretty. Gosh, I love how these turned out. They're so pretty. Let me show you guys. Hang on, I'll, I'll hold them up. Look at how pretty those turned out. Oh, 
I am gonna actually need my scissors though, I just realized, so I'm gonna have to go retrieve them from wherever they just went flying on the floor. Let me dry this design and see where the scissors went. Out of my reach. That's where they went, they went out of my reach. So I'm gonna go grab them, yes, here they are. Because we are gonna need to cut out our butterflies because we're gonna make kind of a 3D butterfly on the side, so. And put all of this up, out of my way. Do you guys clean your spaces as you go with this? Like, I just don't want it in my way. All right, let's dry our butterflies. So pretty, I love them. Which one is your favorite? Big or small? Yellow or, let's really lay it kind of a, it's, its own color. It's too low. <laughs> Yellow or that pinky reddy color. Pink, red, orange-ish color. This is so cool. I'm so glad it worked. And I could totally see, you know, the other thing I thought of was that we could actually chalk the black part first and then take paste, like watercolor paste, um, water down and actually color it in like watercolor. So that might be another cool option for you too if you want to do something that way. Because I've done that technique where you watercolor in and it's really pretty, um, really pretty. And you don't necessarily have to do that technique on the watercolor paper either, but that is what it's, it's called the watercolor technique, but it's not, I've done it on frames and stuff before too, so. This is already pretty dry, which is great. We'll just give a little more to dry. And then we're gonna cut out the butterflies and we're going to glue them and kind of bend them and then 3D glue them on um, here in a minute. So let me cut out one and then I'll turn on my oh, I'm so cute. I just feel like you're back in school cutting out things. I used to help out in my kids' classrooms when they were a little bitty and Somehow, I always got the assignment of cutting out the million copies of whatever the teacher <laughs> had made. I don't know why I got that assignment, but I sure did. Alright, so we're just cutting this guy out. I'm just cutting around his antennae. The other thing we used to do, the kiddos still like to do it, if we find the monarch caterpillars, they are so fun to watch um, grow. Every year we would go looking. And some years there was hardly any monarchs, local caterpillars, like so not mail order. We would look for them in the grass and in the, the milkweed. There were several people around here that had milkweed, so we would always go looking for them. But some years there was a ton, some years there was nothing. But one of the teachers in preschool always had a monarch habitat every year at the beginning of the year because they would study the life cycle and watch the cocoons and all of that. It was always a highlight and other classrooms would come see it in hers. But my kids, actually three of my four, had her as a preschool teacher. So they got to see it firsthand. So we, of course, with the older ones and the younger ones, they've always been like, let's find some butterflies. Let's find some caterpillars. And every time we did find one, we would always stick it in a jar with some milkweed and watch the whole thing. It was always very fun. But 
longer than I thought. It might. There's my butterfly. She looks so pretty. And what we're going to do is basically um, bend the butterfly at the wings. Kind of first I'm bending them in. There's like part of the body. So kind of bending them in at the body. And then I'm going to sort of bend them back out a little higher than that crease to make more, kind of like a 3D, like he pops off the page. So that when I glue him down, he'll be up like this. And you can kind of just kind of take the wings and sort of put them in like that, like I'm doing. Good. All right, let's do our other one. Our other guy. You know, it's always so, so much easier to cut without all of the excess paper like in your way. I find it easier to cut that way at least. So we're gonna do the same thing with him, her. Oh, where the antenna is attached is so skinny. So while I'm doing this, I should tell you. <laughs> There are three ways to get Chocotour. First is to buy it. Love my customers and you are welcome to buy one of everything. I'm okay with that. Just kidding. But you can shop 24 seven. I will put the link up in the description for this particular project, but everything is found at shop.chocolatelaura.com. And Second way is to become a Club Couture member. I already mentioned we have our club and that is awesome for somebody that wants just a little bit more, wants more perks, some more exclusive things, some deals throughout the year. So that's $19.99 a month and you can get your club membership at club.chocolatelaura.com. And then of course the last way is to be a designer. We end up saving 40% off of all of our stuff all the time. So if you are finding that you're just wanting to do all the things, then you can be a designer and save 40% all the time. That is at join.chocolateboard.com. We've got a couple options there. We've got our standard starter kit with an amazing selection of product. And it is 99 bucks. And uh, then we also have a business basics kit, which is just basically a couple business supplies. And then either way, you get an initial coupon. Just trying to bend them nicely. You get an initial coupon for an extra 15% off. So you get to make an order at 55% off. Whatever you want. Oh, I forgot to turn on my, I forgot to turn on my glue gun. So at the beginning, you save 55% off whatever you want. Of course, we did just launch the celebration suite. We have more new stuff coming soon. So it's always a perfect time to get started. So I'm just gonna glue these on here to the side. I think just like how I have them. And then they'll kind of be 3D. I know some people have hooked them on to the side, um, but I actually think I want mine in the, in the body of the whole thing. It won't take but a moment for this to heat up. Watercolor paper is actually harder to bend than I thought because it wants to bend on its own accord. Not necessarily maybe where I want it to bend, but we'll make it work. It's okay. And you can kind of fool with it once you get it glued down too. You can kind of fool with it a little bit once it gets glued down. But now I can't remember if I gave you the link for the designer kit. That's join.chocolatelaura.com and all of them are up in the description. Get in where you fit in, whatever is good for you, it's great.
nope and we wait sorry i meant to do that in between butterflies so that it would be all set and ready to go by the time we got there and it's not i wanted to do a blue butterfly one of those really like bright blue combos but i'm missing cobalt blue because um i don't have it and i ordered it and it's been sent to the new house so i can't do blue but blue butterfly would look really pretty i think with this too like a I was going to try to do the one that has the gradient, like the lighter blue on the top and darker blue at the bottom of the wings. So maybe next time. But I love how this turned out. I mean, this is this, is, this worked really well. And you could your sky's imagination here with the with which colors you want to make your butterflies. Anyway, I feel like I need to entertain. Like there's, uh, there's something missing here. Come on, baby. Do, do, do. Jeopardy song, anyone? Let's see, what's coming up next? Um, I have a couple different projects coming up and I forget which one I'm gonna do next. Of course I wrote this down. <laughs> And I would tell you because I remember, but we've got a couple different ones. I'm going to be using my Aiden board again, which I love. I'm going to be erasing that one and using that. I'm also going to be erasing this one behind me and my Sylvie. That's a great all-purpose board, too. The good things are going to happen. I'm going to be erasing that. Um, I'm putting a couple different designs on that, actually. I've got several more videos involving Sylvie. Woo, yay, we're here. Oh, it didn't catch it. All right, so let's glue them on. So let's see. Hot, hot, hot. All right, so good. There we go. There is our etched butterflies. What do you guys think? Give me a like or a heart or a comment. Let me know what you think. Which one is your favorite? And I appreciate your patience with the glue gun. But thanks for watching guys. I so appreciate you tuning in. Thanks for sharing and the video. 